No, I don't need you. I need you. Take any road you want. That works. I think the next one is the fake fairy um Shit, I'm right next to it, I think. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm close, though. Fuck. I hate those things. I hate that they're immune from attack. They try to slot, they slow down or stop. Zelda. Certainly hope you put out when I get to you. Just imagine, like, and I've, I've seen, like, you know, animations on it and just jokes and, and spoofs and whatnot, but imagine, imagine being Link and going through all this bullshit just to find out the princess, like, isn't interested in you. Now, I mean, I don't think Link is doing it for his own good. Chances are, he's probably just being a nice guy, but I mean... Maybe the princess... ...could be a little bit, uh, you know... ...a little reciprocative of his needs as a dude. not asking too much. Maybe it is. Oh, fuck, I'm a dumbass. Oh, well, that helped that. Thanks, game. Boy, this is really expensive. Aww. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get some more gold. I got it. I got that piece of meat. When this game came out, it was a different world. The world was completely backwards. You know, it's funny because I think that a lot of people looked at video games like it was a guy's, like a, 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 a thing for, like, young boys. Like, you know. And I've, I've never seen it that way. I had friends that were female that played, the, played video games with us. I think at the time I had more friends that were male that played games, but <laughs> the girls wanted to play. We never discriminated. It was all fun and games. We all had a blast. We played a lot of good games too. I remember playing Final Fantasy. Two, one, four. The two in the you know, United States. Mystic, myst, myst, words, mystic quest, <laughs> and stuff like that, and it was just a blast. This game, playing games, that's the thing, playing games like this always gives me nostalgia. Hanging out with my old friends, and, and, and just doing what, uh, what we used to do, we used to love to play video games. Me and I had a, I had a buddy named Mike. We would always talk about The Legend of Zelda, man. Talk about, like, what, what were good places to go, like, to get, to get the, um, like, little secrets and stuff, because, of course, we only had Nintendo Power back then. We didn't have anything like the internet or, you know. It was a different time where everything was word of mouth. It was really cool that way. I thought it, I, I really, it was, it was an interesting different way to go. I think a lot of people wouldn't like it as compared to like how easy to, uh, how easy to get information with technology now. 
But honestly, it, uh, it made for a lot of social activity, especially when you were young. hang out with your buddies and talk about <coughs> the secrets of video games and how far you got on Zelda or how far you got on um, Mario 3 or 2 or whatever game was out and big at the time. Games you rented, stuff like that. Was, I always, you know, again, it's just, it just, this, this just brings me back to that. Of course, my mom and I used to play this all the time. We'd rent it and yeah, video or else. Uh, we'd rent it just for her to play it, and like, what would happen is I would uh, more or less fall asleep in the living room, and it would be I'd fall asleep in the living room of our old, our old houses uh, while she played it, and it would be like a I don't know. It was really cool. I don't know. It just felt it felt comforting for me at the time at that age. It was cool that my mom, I always thought it was really cool that my like, parents both loved gaming. I tell people that now and they're like, what? Really? I'm like, yeah, that's the reason I'm a nerd. <laughs> I have the, I have, I have, oh, fuck. I attribute that to my parents a lot. Being nerdy is because my parents, both my parents love gaming. Like, even now they, they play video games. My dad doesn't as much. Oh, I would love to have more bombs, but I have the money, man. I have to sell my little elf ass. The old Nintendo was supposed to have a microphone for monsters like this that were like um, weak against sound and then you can whistle into it. Hey, sit still, you fucking ass. Okay, there we go. And that would have been a really cool, uh, a really cool addition to the game, I think. I don't know if that was, I don't, honestly, I say that, I don't know if it's 100% fact or if it was something I read that was like a fan theory. I think it's cool even now. Because I know they were supposed to make uh, some of these monsters really weak against uh, sound. I want more bombs, damn it.
that was a waste. <laughs> Rumble, grumble. This is why I went out of my way for this. There you go, buddy. When I get hungry, too, I, I, I grumble, grumble. Feeling, I have a feeling I'm gonna pit in my stomach. That, yep, that was gonna work. I gotta keep saying, there's some things I do remember that come back to me. Secret? Apparently not. There. Oh, this is the secret. Okay. I can do all this. Well, kind of. Thank you. 
go. Ah, they recycled a monster. Quitter, quitter. I got my hundred rupees too, which is good.